Hello everyone, Matthew here. And a while back, I mentioned having a few friends come over and how one of them fired Jebediah, Bill, Bob, and Valentina. But they also did build a few very nice ships. So, I will now be do from now on, I will be doing a mini-series where I will be flying these ships, which is free. There have been free ships which were built. And we'll be starting off with Mint World Transport Vessel. This is one of three. And the description, the creative description my friend came up with was, This fine craft transports tourists to the wonderful land of Mint World. Every visitor is guaranteed to have a good time, trademark, or are they? So let's find out how hospitable Minmus really is. And luckily this time, Bob and Bill are going to Minimus for the very first time, or as my friend refers to it, Mint World. Which is also a nice name. So, the craft overview is, the first stage is powered by a mammoth, then a, a mammoth and, two, and four thumper boosters, which then separate, using hydraulic decouplers, which are more expensive, just so you know. Then I use another decoupler of a rhino stage, a fairing, the decoupler for the nuclear engine, which we are using the first for the first time. Then decouplers for side tanks, another decoupler for the capsule, and of course the capsule's parachute. So we can get ready for launch, turn and turn on autopilot, full throttle, and D minus fifteen seconds and counting. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, we have a liftoff on Mint World Transport Vessel, the very first crewed mission to the surface of Minmus and back. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, this is a truly remarkable day, we are now ascending into the heavens. Our crew does not appear to be too thrilled. What's going on with you, Bill? You can't, you, you're kind of scared. Yeah, are you? Why are you scared? But there's no key, so you're no longer as scared. So we can now begin our dipping profile. And I here I am using Kerbal. Engineer Redux for the very first time. I finally got to install it via CCAN. Very useful software for installing mods. Makes it really a lot easier. So here we are tipping. Not necessarily in the most remarkable manner. I am holding the, the D key right now to try and turn this thing over. And we have a good booster separation. Oh, okay. So nothing got damaged. We can actually check. Aerodynamic nose call. Okay, so nothing happened. Good. I was using F3 there to check the mission profile. It, it tells you what happened during the mission at what times. At what time. And... Nicely going, so... We have a good separation of the main booster, we can see our trajectory. Nice big arc. And we are in space, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, very, thank you very much. So, we can begin. So we kind of failed a little bit. We can try to do this. There. That works. Okay, there. So we are now much more equilateral.
There we go, orbit achieved, so we shall now quick save. Set minimums as our target. And observe what we can do. So unfortunately the man is kind of in the way, which annoys me extremely, because we're gonna have a man encounter. Because I did actually try shooting this video a few minutes ago, or half an hour ago. And unfortunately I got a man encounter, which then shot me off into space, so let's see if I can do anything about that. Oh, perfect. Okay. There we have our Minimus encounter, F5. So, let's see how this thing will work for us. Hopefully nothing bad should happen. Okay, we are one minute away from the burn. Estimated burn time will be 11 seconds. We are not sure of that, but we'll just wait and see. Might as well decouple the farrier and deploy our solar panels. And also, um, the external tanks are actually being held by these um, mini decouplers used by a mod. Some, um, I forget what it's called. I think it's something rocket systems, but... If you want to try and recreate this vessel stock-wise, then you can just use the regular decouplers, which is also fine. Okay, so confirmation is the burn will in fact take 20 seconds. We can wait a little while, though. But I would... Strongly advise doing this instead. I'm really paranoid about getting a mud encounter because it, it is very close right now. And we're going to Minmus, not the Mun, and we don't want a mud encounter, do we? Do we, ladies and gentlemen? Going down slowly, but unfortunately, efficiency beats that number. So you're going down, 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 and around. Don't know where that came from, but it came from somewhere. So we can... I want to say this might be a good day. If we're lucky enough. If we are lucky enough. So it's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. We've, we, we, we've caught the man. We have caught the man. Let's see. Okay, thank God. Thank God we have missed the moon. All right, that is good. We're going really fast now. And we can actually... Oh, external tanks are empty. We can ditch them. And now we can slowly, delicately accelerate towards Minus. Just delicately using shifts there. There, we have a encounter with Minmus. So we can now just warp there. And also I forgot to mention is that the nickname of this spacecraft is the flower because of the solar panel arrangements. Very creative. Kinda looks like Orion if you think of it. No? I think in that style. How much remaining Delta V do we have? 1,000. 546. That is actually more than enough to get us home. Into Minmus. But now let's see how Minmus is looking for us. So we can focus the view of Minmus. So we're having a high altitude polar flyby, but we don't really want that, do we? No? There. So let's see if we can try burning up slightly there. That would work more. 
Now let's see if we can try burning backwards. So if we burn slightly backwards and slightly up, that should get us to where we need. No. Okay, level two. Low. That eleven. I'm trying to get that up to twelve, maybe. Oh. Well, Thirty-two. Twenty-three, that's good. And then... Too high. Too low. Perfect. That's good enough. We can once again F5. We are just crossing the ten minute mark of recording. So, my goal for this video is to get into Minmus Orbit, and then in part two, we can get to the surface and return to Kerbin. Rather than having a one hour video. Okay. One hour. We are one hour away. Now we are closer. Okay. Only three meters per second. Luckily with the nuclear engine we don't have to worry, because... Very low acceleration with it. And... One... Zero meters per second. That is... Good. So we can now just warp away... In fact, we can now, because we have finished with our maneuver, we can... Oh, it's not V, is it? It's Tab. If someone knows how to speed that up, rather than switching for all the planets, I would really appreciate that. It makes your life easier, doesn't it? So just go up to the periaps. Periapsis. Slowly. Slowly. And we have arrived at periaps. So. Look at that. It's the glory land of Mint World. It's now rising upon us. But of course we want to stay with Mint World, don't we? So we're gonna have to slow down. The glory days of Mint World. Alright, and... There we go. So... We can get... Nearly circular. Oh. There. So 27. I say that's decent. Alright. So now all we have to do is pick a landing site. And that we can save for the next video. So, nice way to end the video here, by having our glory crew inside the command module for Apollo, because 1.4 did change the um, style of the Mark II command pod, having it be more like the Apollo command module, which is nice. And we can now go from crew member. And observe the beard line of Minimus. And ignore the overlay. And just look at that. The quiet area. Well, that does it for this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. 
And can we get 10 likes, please? Thank you. I will see you in part 2. Not that. Bye-bye.